Hey guys, what's going on? It's MJ's Q&A, coming to you from MassiveDroves.com. Look, this is part one in a three-part series on creatine. The question we're gonna be addressing in this part is what does creatine do? And look, to address this question correctly, we need to understand the different energy systems that your body taps into when you exercise. So on one hand, we've got your glucose energy system. On the other hand, we've got your phosphate energy system. Looking at the glucose energy system first, look, when you exercise aerobically, so you're running, you're jumping, your heart rate's up, you're exercising and, you, and you're in that aerobic exercise, your body taps into what we call your glucose energy system. And what your body does in that energy system is it burns a fuel, that particular fuel is, is glycogen or blood sugar, it burns that blood sugar for energy and gives your body energy to be able to exercise aerobically. Now on the other hand, we've got anaerobic exercise. Now this is exercise where you're involving short, sharp muscle contractions. So you might be lifting weights, you might be jumping, you might be sprinting. Those short, sharp muscle contractions, that's when your body's gonna be exercising anaerobically. And in that sort of exercise, your glucose energy system over here can't supply energy fast enough to muscle cells to allow those muscle cells to contract in that way. So what your body does in this circumstance is it taps into what we call your phosphate energy system over here. Now what your phosphate energy system uses for fuel is a product called adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP or abbreviated to ATP. Now this is the really cool thing. This is where we can really nut it down and tell you exactly what creatine does. What creatine does is allows your body to synthesize or produce more of this adenosine triphosphate. So it allows your body to produce more ATP, which is the fuel that your body uses in your phosphate energy system. So you've got more fuel for your body to use. It means that you can train harder, you can train for longer, you can get more reps, you can get more sets, and all of this means you're gonna stimulate more muscle growth. So look, that's part one in this three-part series on creatine. Please watch the other two parts. We're gonna post links to them in the comment section to this video. And that was MJ's Q&A coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.